I've also got to make, can you turn me to where is it, um, either a Maggie or a Peggy sweetheart, please? Yeah. Right, thank you. And as I'm making reference to her, I've also got to talk about um, a lady here who's, who's, had, uh, I should imagine we all have a fear of death, but right now I've got a lady who's feared of passing. Do you understand me, please? I feel like I, I, all the time, I don't want, I'm scared yeah. of dying. Thank you. Because right now as well, the, that fear of dying is near, right near the end of her life. I just feel so scared. Because I'm, I'm, I'm so upset. Do you understand me, please? And yet I feel at the same time that somebody's had to take me on and tell me I'll be all right. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Because she just says, I've heard everything that's been said and there was no fear in the end. Do you understand me, please? And it's imperative that you understand that because it's also brought fear into the family. Do you understand me, please? Because you saw how upset she was about going. And at the same time, but this was a, a peaceful death in the end. Do you understand me, please? And yet it's that period just beforehand where everyone got worked up. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right now I need to say to you, it, Everything that was done for her beforehand, she said, wants me to say thank you for. Do you understand? Yeah. And she never got round to saying it because, again, she allowed the fear of her being poorly to override what she really wanted to say, which is how much she loved everybody. Do you understand, please? Yeah. As I'm saying that, there was also a lot of misunderstandings in this family. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And again, there's been lots of arguments here because I've got two warring factions of two families. Do you understand? Yeah. And both of which. And in fact, it's created a lot of arguments here on the earth plane. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And we're not really got through them all yet, neither. But you like to be the, the person in the middle trying to make sure everybody else sees eye to eye. Do you understand me, please? If it's not you, then you can take this to the person that is. Somebody in this family is trying to sort of go, oh, and he said, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, and trying to put everybody back together. Yeah. You, right, thank you. Because at the same time, well, this family will never ever really see eye to eye. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And uh, right now, I feel like there's been lots of rows, lots of arguments, and there's been lots of name calling. Do you understand, please? Yeah. And right now, this woman lady steps forward. She just says, "I wish it would all stop." But at the same time, somebody had also more or less helped themselves to her bits and bats. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Because she's also talking about how quick that that people change when there's a death, all of a sudden everybody becomes, I'm going to say it in my own way for themselves, do you understand me please? Yeah. And, and yet I feel upset at the fact that there's people here who she never got to see before she went, but they all turned up at her death and all helped themselves to her bits, do you understand me please? Yeah. Right, so she's not too impressed with this, but at the same time she also knows it matters not neither, because they've got it now, they've helped themselves, and everything of mine's gone. Do you understand, please? Yeah. And the people that I wanted to have the certain bits never really got round to them. Do you understand, please? Yeah. There was also a ring here that didn't get to give them to somebody. Do you understand me, please? Somebody helped themselves to a ring. Would you That's understand? True. Right. Can I just ask you to keep hold of that thought, my love, please? Because yeah. She's making reference because there's somebody who's actually wearing this ring and it doesn't actually belong to them. Do you understand me, please? And again, but she doesn't want you to go cause her another round, so don't keep that bit to yourself. Do yeah. you understand, please? Yeah. <laughs> As I'm saying that, there is also, can you take me to where uh, my grandfather stands behind you also, my love? Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right, thank you. And again, quite a straightforward, gentlemen. You understand? Today is how it is. A spade to spade and now it's out. Yeah. Right, thank you. And at the same time, he's also, do you understand why he's asking? For, to, wants to apologise to certain people. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And would you understand also, he understands that the apology is not accepted, but he needs to make reference that he needs to say it in order to bring that forgiveness into the family. Does that make sense, please? Yeah. And right now, he, but he, he doesn't expect it to be taken. He doesn't expect it. Does that, he doesn't want it. If people could accept it, that would be great. But I don't get the feeling from him that it's going to be. Do you understand, please? Yeah. Right, and he, he just walks in, he says what he's going to say, and I've got to say it's this way, and you just went, right, you've had your minute, get out. Do you understand, please? Yeah. Right, away you go, get out. You might have been there for a minute, you asked for 30 seconds, and that's all you've got, go. <coughs> so she has absolutely no time for him whatsoever. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. But there isn't a good name to be said for him neither. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And right now, that's all he's done. He's walked in, asked for it, and he's walked back out. 
and it's not a case he's going to stand there and, and press for anything. He's gone home again. Does that make sense? Yeah. But as I'm saying that, can you take me to a dog in the spirit, my love, please? My book lines 57. The little mongrel type dog. Yeah. Right, because right now his little dog just come in and I just needed to bring him to me. Do you understand, please? Yeah. Okay, as I'm saying that, because we would have ended up putting this little dog down. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And he's also talking about either he's got um obviously the dog's not talking, but they're talking for him. Do you understand? But as I make it who had the horse? Um, it's not a big horse, it's only a small horse, do you understand? But it's an horse all the same. We went next to a farm. Right, but where there was like not a biggish horse? Yeah. Right, because... A, a what? It used to come to our fence. Right, thank you, because right now this, this horse, believe it or not, I'll just put his head in. I just want you to know that it's the horse turned up. Do you understand? We've got a dog here. Can you also take me to a cat that got run over? Yeah. Right. Anyway, the cat's all right now. He's not as flat as we thought. Do you understand me, please? Because I, but as I'm saying that, somebody in the family were a flame over. Do you understand? Sort of, yes. Yeah. By accident, of course. We didn't do it on purpose. But I could just feel somebody going, beep, beep, beep. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right, thank you. Anyway, the cat's not holding the grudge, so you've been happy to know. <laughs> the way in for God, I'm afraid. But as I'm saying that, it's like a, a menagerie around me. Do you understand me, please? Do you understand the fellow who had the birds also? Like budgies? Yes. Right, because right now they've just come flying in as well. But as I'm, did, did you come home from school one day and, decide, and found out that your goldfish had gone to heaven? Yes. Right, thank you. Good and it's a good job that they can swim, because they swim all the way there. Do you understand me, please? <laughs> Through the sewer system. Do you understand me? Do you understand that, sweet? Right. And someone said they died, but they were all right that morning. Do you understand, please? Well, get rid of these. No one's looking after them. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, there's going to be some forgiveness being given for these animals. But to now, they've all gone in mysterious ways. But as I'm saying, well, seriously, you've got the goldfish, who just, someone's just brought in in a bowl from a pit from the Northern Ireland. I've got these budgies also flying around, and I feel that the cat would have had one of these. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right, because the cat now is trying to get these two that are flying around here. So obviously, <laughs> and then obviously you've got this little dog who doesn't like the cat. Do you understand me, please? So the dog's trying to get the cat, he's trying to eat the budgies, he's trying to eat the fish. Do you understand? <laughs> And all we got is the horse just looking on as if to say, why have I bothered? Do you understand me, please? So we've got all these people, all these people, all these spirit animals all just turned up. And as I'm saying that, can you take me, even though I said the Peggy to you, can you take me to a Margaret separately also, sweetheart, please? And you know, I feel that this lady would have worked either in a centre or like a, a, like a community site centre. Do you understand me, please? No. Say no to me. No. Right, I need to find her. Mm. Without making reference to where the stroke conditions are, in fact, you could take me to two different people. Do you understand you would have had strokes? And one that would have had many, many strokes, and then one massive one. One I sort of know about, but only got told about recently. No. Right, I need to make the... Oh, yes, recently, yes. Thank you. Thank you. So you understand about where the stroke condition is, yes? Yeah. But there's also, some years going back, on your grandmother's side, somebody who had little mini strokes, little conditions going on with them, do you understand? Yeah. And right, and then all of a sudden we had, um, it was like pneumonia conditions also, which would have took us to spirit. Do you understand yeah. me? Right, thank you. She just went, I know what I went with. You understand, please? Mm -hmm. And as I'm saying that, there is also um, conditions here where I feel that, can you understand why I'm going bowling? Also, please, like crown green bowling on green grass. No. Right. Yeah, yeah. One of you ladies can take me to that. Do you understand that, my sweet, please? No. This one. But I'm still with you, my love. It's like an auction now, isn't it? <laughs> right now, there's somebody chucking a ball over some green grass. And I need to, but they can't roll it. I'm chucking it. You can, sweet. Proper chucking it. Possibly, yeah. Right now, it looks like the bouncing bomb going down. Do you understand that, sweet? Well, you can understand that also, my love. 
I'm going to say, I know you understand somebody in divorce or done something similar and actually couldn't go back and bowl again. Do you understand? If this is for you, the proper bowling place, mm -hmm. you understand that place? Who would have thrown this ball down like a bouncing ball? Do you understand me, please? I don't know. Right, I'll keep on with it. If it comes back, we'll find it. Do you accept that from me, if you know my love, please? Kind of like the green bowling. Yes, yeah. the green bowling. Yeah. There's like big divots in the grass where they just, they've just slammed it down. Do you understand, please? Right, it's like they've just been doing shot or something, where they've just gone down. Does that make sense? But I'm, see, I'm still going to find where this is. But as I'm... Can you tell me to a Daniel also, my love, please? Here on the earth. Dan, or Danny. I know a few. Right, thank you. But, but you know a Daniel and a Danny separately. Do you understand, yeah. please? And as I'm saying that, there is also either the name. Can you take me to a Steph or a Stacey? Yeah. Right, thank you. And as I'm being brought where this is, again, I feel there is um, a lot of discussions to be having here. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right. And I've got to say, we don't suffer fools gladly. You understand? Yeah. Don't take it all on board. Does that make sense, please? Yeah. That's all right. You're, either you're looking gobsmacked or I can't see you. <laughs> do you understand me, please? Yeah. Right. So as I'm saying it, do not take everything on board. Just because it comes out doesn't mean it's believable. You understand, please? Yeah. Right. As I'm saying that, there is also people are, you do have to draw people in who can give you a load of codswallop. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. And as we've got to say, it's a time now where we need to put a bit more sense to it. Yes? Yeah. Can you take me to the Turner? Also, sweetheart, please. The Turners. And I know you know of that name. Do you understand me, please? I don't relate that to school, Just, okay. Right. Where is the fella, where is the young lad that was like the bully at school? Do you understand me, please? If you can't, if you can't place it just yet, just keep in mind why I'm saying it, sweet. Because right now, there is also similar situations around you at the minute. Do you understand? Yeah. People bullying you or trying to push you into certain situations that you know are not good for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. We're going to step away from them as well. And you know, you've heard that story about when the fan gets switched on, haven't you? Yeah. That everybody gets splattered. Yeah. Right. Do you understand now why I've got to say to you, stay away from the fan? Yeah. Right. Because it flatters. You, you understand? Yeah. So all this now is to put you back in mind, but put you back in control of the situations that are around you. Again, it's not my job to open everything up. Do you understand me, please? Yeah. But not everybody is believable. Please take it in mind in the two different situations because one of them is more of a liar than the other. You understand me, please? Yeah. But both of them, I wouldn't. If it's always there as Thursday, I'd have to question it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right, thank you. May I leave you with all these lovely people? Yeah. And as I'm saying that, <coughs> where is also the, that the little pendant that should be given to you? Do you understand me, please? Like one of those little pocket things. I'm not sure. But you was either bought a locket, but you understand that you've had it in your possession a locket. Right. You have, sweet. Yeah. Right, thank you. May I leave you a little spirit, yeah. man? Can I come to